All right, so a question you might get asked a lot, uh, particularly if you work in, you know, a, an organization that has many different disciplines. Think about civil engineers, structural engineers. You might have environmental consultants. You might have town planners. All these different disciplines coming together. The first question you're probably going to get asked when you say, hey, I work in a thing called GIS, uh, or I, I, I am a GIS consultant or a GIS analyst, uh, is, well, what, what is what is GIS, right? And you might hear tons of different definitions of, uh, you know, GIS. One, one thing that stands out to mind for me is, you know, academics of this kind of thing going on now uh, where they call uh, GIS, G-I-S-S, -S, right? So it's Geographic Information Systems and sciences because systems doesn't really capture the scientific elements or the cartographic principles or the you know data analytics that we might apply to GIS and um, but fundamentally at its core and I have nearly a, a decade experience as a, as a GIS consultant and trainer solely dealing in ArcGIS technology but you know uh, GIS in general I'll tell you how I like to think of, of GIS I like to split it out so we have you know the, the J stands for geographic, right? And that's, that's relating to the locations and places on the Earth's surface, right? Uh, we have information, which might be data, facts, or details, or contextual bits, right, that are processed or stored with the location, right? So the geographic part and the information part are coexisting peacefully, all together in what's called a system, right? An interconnected set of tools. They might be an interconnected set of methodologies as well, uh, designed to work together. But fundamentally, that is what GIS is. It's Geographic Information Systems. Now, you know, in normal person speak, right? <laughs> the, the people who are, are brand new to, you know, might not, you know, uh, know much about geography in general or you know these things GIS what is it well at its core right the the G is geographic GIS is all about geography right it's identifying the spatial locations where things happen where features or or points exist whether it's mapping out crime rates in a city for example you might be charting the migration patterns of wildlife or even plotting the locations of littering incidents throughout you know, your neighborhood or your city. The where part is the crucial uh, part of any geographic information system, and that is the, the quote-unquote geographic part, knowing things, uh, knowing where things are, right, uh, and where they're happening. That's the first element of GIS. The second part we have here is the information, right? And I like to think of information, that's the story behind the point. If we imagine our mind's eye, you know, when we think about GIS, maybe it's helpful to think of points on a map, right? Uh, and and each, each point, uh, if we imagine an Excel table, right? Uh, each point relates to a kind of row in an Excel sheet. And then we might have uh, columns in our Excel sheet, and that's just contextual information about that particular row. In, in GIS terms, it's about that particular point, right? So the second element, the information, doesn't just lie in mapping a point on the Earth, Earth's surface, uh, but in the rich information associated with that point. You can think of, you know, uh, like I said, the, the information part of GIS as being the story behind the point. And this is where the, a, a thing called attributes come into play and, and attributes are details like the time an event occurred, the type of event and any other contextual data um, that helps you know in, in the in the context of the geographic location and if we integrate this attribute data, this information with the geography aspect, the geographic part, you know, then we start to build up what's called geographic information, GIS data sets, and it helps us to understand not only the where, but also like what's happening, when it's happening, and why it's happening. The third component then is the system part, right? And that's the, the, the technology that brings the geographic information and houses it, stores it, analyzes it, you know, that can be used to drive insights analyze things or even just store 
geographic information, right? There's the system component of GIS, and it could be a suite of tools, it could be a suite of technologies, methodologies that really allow us to effectively manage, analyze, and visualize the geographic information coming in. And this could range from simple software, right? Like uh, geographic information uh, systems are a dime a dozen, right? Uh, ArcGIS is not the only the only show in town. It is the market leader, but you know there there are tons of little GISs and floating around the space, and they could be simple software for just creating, displaying simple maps. Uh, they and they range all the way to the kind of complex algorithms for spatial analysis that we typically see in ArcGIS, right? But it's important to note, like an ideal of a system part, right, the third part of any GIS is something that can transform raw data and then deliver actionable insights for organizations and individuals, depending on the workflow, right? So it's about taking the geographic information, putting it into one place, a single source of truth, so to speak, and then crunching the numbers off of that. Now, the next question you might ask yourself, well, after what is GIS, okay, uh, is what is ArcGIS? And ArcGIS, I suppose, is, is what Dracula is to vampires, right? What, what Coke is to Coca-Cola, what Band-Aids are to plasters. ArcGIS uh, really has become quite synonymous uh, with GIS. Uh, now, ArcGIS is, is created, developed, updated, and ultimately sold by a company called called Esri, right? Um, but it is the market leader in geographic information systems. And I like to think fundamentally on a on a on a basic license, right? There's there's tons more software products and software technologies that, that Esri deliver. But if we think about the standard ArcGIS online package, we have three core components that make up this thing called ArcGIS, this geographic information system. We have ArcGIS Online, it's cloud-based, software as a service, works the same way social media does, you get a username and password, and depending on what organization you're in, you can log in using your browsers, Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and you get access to all the geographic information that your organization has. And you can also create, view, edit and ultimately analyze geographic information yourself as well as part of your ArcGIS online license. There's a desktop component to ArcGIS as well called ArcGIS Pro and they come in three different levels basic, standard and advanced. Uh, majority of the workflows that you want to do are, are covered in a basic license but ultimately we have a desktop application in ArcGIS called ArcGIS Pro and it works the same way uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Outlook, Adobe Acrobat works. It's, in, it's an actual desktop application you download onto your laptop, onto your desktop and it allows you to interact with your geographic information. The third component then is a suite of ArcGIS mobile apps and there's, there's tons of them just depending on your workflow. There's, there's this thing called workflow, Workforce for managing projects and tasks and, and assigning work to people. There's field maps, essentially a map in your pocket. There's Survey123, a form-centric mobile application that allows you to create, edit, update, and, and delete if you need to, this geographic information that you're collecting. But ultimately, when we talk about ArcGIS online, right, um, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Mobile Apps, the ArcGIS Online bit is, is the core. That's where your licenses are managed. That's where you configure mobile apps. That's where you might be able to pull in publicly available data sets for use in ArcGIS Pro. But it is all linked to this thing called ArcGIS Online. And Esri are the, uh, are the company that, uh, that bring you ArcGIS, right?